Oh, the broadcast is live. That's how it was. <laughs> I was like, how do we know if we're live or not? What's up, guys? Hello, world. Girls, girls gals. Howdy. Howdy. It's finally coming out. It is think, finally coming out. I say finally coming out. Like, we didn't immediately get to the, like, howdy. The song and immediately <laughs> make it out. We got such uh, instant gratification on this on this video because we recorded it and I don't know how it was really recently. It was like what? Yeah, like we should go, not even. Yeah, like it went from meeting up, recording it, and then within the next two or three weeks we were ready treatments. Next week yeah. or whatever, treatment and then video within all in the same month. Yeah, this all happened so so fast. So this is really exciting. But yes, guys, this is the, the feature that I was telling you about when I was streaming. And I was like, I can't I can't tell you who it is yet. So <laughs> now you know. Big secret. <laughs> Big secret. We got little stands in the building. Little stands. Oh yeah. So the first day that I met Lotus is when we were straight up recording the song. Like that's the first day. Like he had already recorded all his parts. And it was him and little Aaron were there. And I straight up was like Yo, I have to ask, why do you put Lil before your name? <laughs> I don't think I got an answer. Yeah, we that's exactly it because we didn't really have a good one. <laughs> and now, so now I'm, I'm Lil Stans. S A N Z. You're also Lil Stans because whenever we remember when we were recording it and you were standing on, you had a, <laughs> we had to give her a Lil Stan. I was so short. So when we did the bridge part on uh, that you're on the on this song that you're like about to hear, and if you're not in the US, you've already heard it uh on like online. Um we actually recorded on the mic together. We didn't do like separate takes. We like we're together. And I was so much shorter than Lotus. So John Feldman, who was recording us, straight up pulled the road case over and was like plop right on there, Chrissy. We have to post that picture at some point. Yeah, now now we now can. We can. Yeah. It was a good time. I'm just so short. Story of my life. <laughs> what these people names? Me. I'm Chrissy. Uh, this is Lil Lotus. Oh, that's Lil Lotus. Oh, I am Lil Lotus. Those are our names. Oh, that's what that tweet was about. Yes, Nate. That was the tweet when I posted the picture of me standing on the box. Oh, you posted it? I posted just my feet, so it uh, didn't show like yeah. you or anything. I literally just posted my feet, and I was just like, I think I said something. It's like when you're recording, like, you duet, and the other person's taller than you, or something. So they like it was like a little tease, like they knew something was coming, but like, yeah, they didn't know with who or what. I was like, where are you seeing all these people saying things? And then I figured out I was only looking at the private chat. Oh yeah, no, no, you gotta <laughs> go. Oh, I see what y'all are saying. I'm just making it up as I go. I'm just pretending yeah. people are talking. That way, you know, it's 6 a.m. Holy shit. Did you stay up all night? Thurman's commitment. That is. Oh, wait. Yeah. Either you're an early bird or that's commitment. Oh, yeah. You either woke up really early or you were up all night. My eye is good now. Thankfully, it happened after the music video shoot. What happened to your eye? So, first, I hit myself in the head with a hammer. And then I got a fat scratch to the eye, and then my eye was literally straight up bleeding. Dude, it is it okay? Did you go to like the hospital for all that, like the eye scratch thing? I am tough as nails. No. Okay. The I rub dirt in it. Oh, when I was, I was probably like, I think it was like nineteen or eighteen, and me and my friends were watching that Man vs. Wild show. Yeah. And like we, um, we just got inspired, <laughs> and then. Uh, we went out and I was like, I bet you we could last like a week out here. And we what? Got this, and yeah, we had our, our friend's mom take us to this like nature reserve, which they, you know, you're not supposed to be there afterwards. But we we're like, let's just go towards the end to close the, the time that they close, uh, close to the time that they close. And let's like sneak into like some like an area. And then once yeah. everybody's gone, then we'll like camp out. And the goal is for us to hike our way back to their parents' house. And their parents are like, all right, like, Y'all really want to do it? And yes. I was we're like, yeah, we want to do it. So they're like, if y'all get caught, y'all go to jail or something like that, that's on y'all. So everybody was allowed to bring one thing, like one item. And yes. I brought I brought a bow with no arrow. One of my homies 
brought uh, i mean yeah we all brought our phones but he brought like um like like headphones like because he's like wanted to listen to stuff i was like how are we gonna use it yeah. and then some other people brought snacks so we're going through like back the snacks yeah snacks are valid so we're, we're going through the through the the woods and stuff and um freaking i had to make a, an arrow because i didn't have a bow i only had the bow naturally start sharpening off this like straight straight part of a branch but i didn't break <laughs> off the branch i was like I don't know why I didn't break it off first and then sharpen it. But I'm sharpening the heart, the right. end of it. And I couldn't get it off, like break it off because it was still like really, like it wasn't dead wood. So my friend goes over there, he's like, I got it. And he starts swinging it around all crazy, trying to bend it off. And I was like, yo, like chill out. You're gonna like end up poking someone in the eye. And he's like, no, I won't. So I walk around the other way, the other side of him to get away from like what he was yeah. doing. And he just yanks it the opposite side, rips it off and it goes into my eyeball. No. Yeah, and like my eyeball is bleeding, and you could see a chunk of the you know the fleshy part of your eye. No, yeah, no. It was that deep, and I went to the hospital, and they're like, "You were this close to losing your eye." No. Was, my band had a show the next week, and I had to wear an eye patch. <laughs> no, we need the photos. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. Dude, that's brutal. Yeah, it's okay. so so bad. Also, just quality top tier question. Nate would like to know, and I'll let you take the lead because you wrote the song before you even brought me on. Nate Cristano said, "What uh, inspired this song?" Um, man, I don't know if the if y'all is when y'all hear the whole album that me and Feldman did. It's um, the whole album is basically like every type of possible toxic relationship or um. Uh, not toxic or just like sad relationship or just not good relationship situation and this one just happened to be about like this one kind of is the happier one where it's like you're 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 not good for each other but yes. you're both willing to just take the heat and you're like you know what like this is going to be hard and this is going to suck and it's going to end up terrible but like i just love being with you and maybe you know a perfect situation isn't you know, our situation, but it's our situation. Like there's yeah. good times and there's bad times and you're focusing more on the good times and you're willing to take all the bad ones with it. So this one's kind of more of the like positive side, but it's still. It's a romantic disaster. A romantic disaster. Given the name, yeah. yeah. It when was it's a good, good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's worse. It actually was called Bad Idea at first, but yeah. I like that we changed it to romantic disaster because yeah. I feel like that encapsulates exactly what you just said. Yeah. Whereas, like, bad idea makes it sound like it's, like, all negative. Yeah. Even though that's still one of my favorite lyrics. Like, the bad idea bad lyric. Idea saying, yeah. Yeah. But I think that, like, really encapsulates the song is is the title now. Yeah, it's very aesthetic. Very aesthetic. Aesthetic. Let, aesthetic, let's get it. <laughs> and the video shoot was, like, mad fun, too, because it was in, like, it wasn't like on a set like we actually you'll see we like actually shot this video like in a motel and everything and we like the guy that you see like you'll see the clerk the clerk was the actual clerk from the hotel we were straight up like dude you want to be in a video and he was like yeah <laughs> and then he was like do you remember he was like so nervous he was like giggling during the first yeah. scene. he was supposed to be serious he's like i'm sorry i've never done this before yeah we're like you can't laugh and it then was so cute though because he yeah. was like hee -hee. And then he said, um, what is it that he said? Oh, he said something something else really funny. Or like yeah. the way he would, he would like do something and then he'd look back at the director at the director while he was like doing it. Like, did I do that right? But he was still <laughs> filming him. We're like, dude, we're still rolling. Like, yeah. That, was so that funny. part was so good. Or that little kid. Remember the little kid came out of the room? He was like staring out the window. And yeah. then they opened the door and then like he's like trying to come out and like talk to us and we're all like hey hi child yeah that the was dad, so cute. the dad was like don't go outside <laughs> jack siebert said how did you two meet and get an idea for a collab being that you two are in a fairly different genre so you brought me on so, yeah, so that was that was actually um well so originally it was like when it was just me like I was just singing, singing the high parts, and everybody, and it was kind of like, "Lo, just like sounds like a girl. Like, <laughs> why don't we? Ha why don't we basically just have 
like an actual like girl on here. Yeah. <laughs> like, do we know anybody that like? Is, do we know like, any like, girls? Do we know any girls, or do we know anybody that we could like see Lotus like blending yeah. well with, or like? Do we know anybody that like that vocal range? Like they just like killed in that range, and then, um, fucking, um, sorry, I don't know if I'm allowed to cuss, but I, I, I do what I will. I feel like the world is your oyster. Sick, and uh, <laughs> sick. <laughs> Brett from Epitaph, uh, he called Lil Aaron, and he was like asking his opinion on the song and what he was thinking, and Aaron was like, ah, I don't know, and then he was like, Oh why am i thought like boom bang chrissy and so like, he hit up gabe and then gabe i guess showed you and then yeah y'all all pulled up to the studio and magic was made we pulled up y'all pulled up y'all pulled up deep that was a good day too because we went to erwan and i discovered my new favorite grocery oh, store yeah. you had never heard of erwan you're like Oh, it's Never heard of it. I ate so much at a grocery like, store. I didn't I was like, expect wait till it. you get to the supplements aisle. And you're like, I love supplements. Yeah, I love it. It was a great time. It was a great, uh, it was a great, uh, a great <laughs> grocery store, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Highly recommend. So, and then, yeah, we basically spent that whole, we did the song pretty quickly. It was so fast. Yeah. We stood on a bunch of, we stood on a bunch of shit. You were wearing a crown. I was um, wearing a crown. <laughs> and it was like super where the wild things are. Unsure. Wow. Um, Gabe just texted me. So for reference, by the way, guys, Gabe uh, now manages both Lotus and I. Like he's both of our managers. So and he just texted me and goes, "I love supplements." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's then that's how I. And aside from us creating the song, that's also how I met my manager. Yeah. What is it? What is the name? Uh, is there a song video we are, are about to hear? Yes, it's called Romantic Disaster. The song and video are dropping in like two minutes. So we're going to go down in like a minute. Um, yeah, and we literally only recorded it like a month ago. We shot the video like 10 days ago. And yeah, it was pretty It was pretty crazy. So it all came together super, super quick. So it's, it's exciting like to just come out right away. The, we weren't even going to drop this song first. We were, like, all crazy about this other song on the album. And then we did this. And then Brett and, like, everyone at the label is like, what have we done? Like, yeah. <laughs> what have we done? Like, and, but it, this is going. This has to go out there first. Let's go record it. Record and videos the, for other songs and everything. And we're like, no, this is the one. This is the one. Yeah. So. That's, like, so it's going to be – I'm really excited for it. It's really fun. I mean, like, it's different than I think – like stuff that either of us have, have ever done but it's like more in line with like your new record that's coming out so i'm like reading these these uh reading the chat <laughs> yeah so people are saying funny shit but yeah i'm so excited oh one, one minute one minute will there be future collabs absolutely just all right it. so we're gonna go down because the video is about to go live so thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you what you think of the video and the song. We're so excited. Yes. And, uh, yeah. Shout out thanks. you guys, everyone in the chat. Thank you so much. I'm so hyped that you all pulled up. Me. See you in a bit, guys.